Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. My name is PsychoGold, this is Psycho Gold Videos. No, you eyes do not deceive you. Yes, this channel has actually uploaded something. Yes, a lot of things have happened between now and the last time I uploaded, but I am not going to talk about any of that right now. This wasn't supposed to be the first video back, but I didn't know that this was coming. So, regardless, as of an hour ago, a trailer came out for a Scorpion animated project. I'm not even sure if it's a film or a series, if I'm entirely honest. I knew that this had been announced, but I didn't know anything more than that because there wasn't really anything other than a logo type thing. Netherrealm have been doing some interesting work with Mortal Kombat 11, with the Joker having recently come to the game, and he is by far <laughs> the weirdest thing to happen to that game because everybody, including myself, thought he looked atrocious when he was first announced and didn't really see the point in having what would probably be an Injustice 2 clone come to the game, and instead he plays absolutely nothing like his Injustice 2 version, and he's probably the best new addition to the game, far more interesting and entertaining to play as than any of the other characters in the season pass, so well done Netherrealm. And now out of nowhere we have the trailer for Mortal Kombat Legends Scorpion's Revenge. And it does say here it's an animated movie, not a series. So it's a movie. I don't know what to expect. I know that it's R-rated, which means that we might see some uh, Mortal Kombat violence. So if you've ever played the games, you know what that means. If you're uh, not the sort of person that enjoys gore, I would advise not even trying to attempt to watch this video. It might be fine, or it might show off a lot of really gruesome stuff if we see any fatality styled parts of the film. Either way, enough talk. Let's see what they got in store for us. As long as this is better than the show from the 1990s, the animated one, although there was a live action one as well, but specifically the animated one, I'll be happy. So, three, two, one, go. Once a generation, the finest warriors must do battle. Ooh. Oh, Sub-Zero. Okay, now, Sonya. Okay. Didn't expect other people. Wait, what? So, <laughs> Mortal Kombat! <laughs> I know that Raiden voice. So, it's the first tournament. Oh, I like that reptile. That's the uh, MKX reptile, isn't it? Quan Chi's and this is what was that Cyrax? Yes, it was. <laughs> or was that? <laughs> okay. Not sure the music fits, but. Oh, Johnny Cage is in it too! I wasn't sure. I didn't see him. <gasps> oh, yeah. So it's just the first. What? Oh. Good night, Sub Zero. Oh, it's okay. So it's a, it's a direct to DVD film. Okay. Okay, so a lot happened there. Um. I think we need to watch it again. Uh, I, 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 and that's not at all what I thought this was going to be. It is just a retelling of MK1, which isn't a bad thing. But why is it called Scorpion's Revenge? It doesn't even look like he's necessarily the main character. It looks well animated, though. It's very colourful, which is unexpected. Oh, that voice sounds so familiar. I will win this tournament. So Katana and Liu Kang. Everybody seems based on their MKX costumes. What is it you? Or or and their MK9, I think, for Johnny Cage. To seek my revenge. See, I wasn't sure at first. That looked like Cyrax, but now I'm wondering if that's supposed to be Scorpion as a human. But that he looks very different. Is all I'm going to say. Ah, oh, look at that! That looks so cool! Yeah, that's not... 
Sub-Zero looks different compared to how he does later on in the trailer. Unless both Sub-Zeros are in this. Johnny! <laughs> oh man, I never thought I'd see Goro in animated form like this. Goro was my favorite character as a kid. Yeah, that's a different looking Sub-Zero to the one we just saw a second ago. So if they got... If they got both of the Sub-Zeros? Okay. So, uh, for those confused by what I mean, there were two different Sub-Zeros. There was Bihan and Kawhi Liang. And, uh, basically, one dies in MK1, which was how they explained the change between Sub-Zeros. And, uh, then the other one basically has been Sub-Zero throughout the majority of the games. And the other one became Noob Cybot. And, uh... If this is like the start of a series of animated films, I'd be very interested to see what they're gonna do next, but they're doing the real... They're... I don't know, man. I was excited for this because it was called Scorpion's Revenge. It sounded like it was going to be something new and different, and instead it's it's just MK1 again. Oh, don't get me wrong, I love the story of MK1, but like, it's... MK9 had a retelling of MK1. MK Shaolin Monks was a retelling of MK1 and MK2. The original Mortal Kombat film from the 90s that has the epic theme song that we all know and love is MK1. Uh, MK1's story has been told nearly every single time somebody tries to do something like this, or whenever there's a reboot, everybody always seems to go back to MK1. And, and I get it, it has the most well-known setup and story, and yes, I can see an advantage of retelling it now because Quan Chi and other characters, for example, were not around when the first Mortal Kombat film was made. Well, actually, some of them were around because I think by that point MK3 had come into existence, but I don't think Quan Chi existed until MK4. Been a while since I played those games, but uh, I can certainly see how this could work and you know the animation looks incredible i'll be watching this for sure don't don't worry uh this this is i will watch it it looks it looks really fun i just i don't understand why it's called scorpion's revenge i mean yeah maybe the film is gonna focus more on scorpion but the trailer certainly didn't make it look like that i mean there's a couple of moments where it's about scorpion but for the most part it just looked like everybody's gonna have a bit of time to shine with perhaps Johnny Cage having the least time to shine, but... I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. I'll watch it, I'm excited for it, I think that, you know, the animation looks great, and... the style of the characters, I think they've captured how they look in certain versions of their games anyway, because obviously they look completely different depending on what game you play. And sometimes they even sound completely different depending on if they decide that they're going to change the voice actor, or change the filter that they use on the voice actor. What I hope is either they're gonna really nail the Scorpion storyline, i.e. he's gonna kill Bihan and then find out that actually Bihan didn't do what Scorpion thinks he did and that obviously Quan Chi is his real enemy, but that would be a lot to discover in MK1. The main thing that I'm hoping for is that this does well. Well enough that they think we should do more of these. Now, that might mean that we just end up getting MK2 animated, but I'd also be okay with that because Unlike MK1, MK2 doesn't really have a film version or a series version or an animated version or that many remakes in the games. Yes, I know MK2 was in Shao the Monks and MK9, but getting to see Shao Kahn animated, getting to see them fight Kintaro, having them have to go through Outworld, I could see that being a lot more interesting and they could do a lot more with the story of that, especially in terms of animation, than Perhaps I would have said that you would want to do with MK1 because MK1 is basically everybody fights in the tournament Everybody's amicable up until the very end and then we win <laughs> I mean that's why I was surprised to see that it was MK1 when it's called Scorpion's Revenge. I I don't know I don't know. I, I feel like I'm just repeating myself now So maybe I'll just stop the video here, but I would love to see where they could go with more animated series Maybe they could branch out into original storylines that we haven't seen or stories from the MK games that don't get as much love because there are so much that has happened in the canon of Mortal Kombat with 
two different timelines to draw from, and potentially a weird third timeline now thanks to MKX, they play fast and loose with who's alive, who's dead, and uh, what version of events we're gonna follow. Now, I personally would love a character like Kenshi to get some love. I know he's a fan favorite, I'm not alone in that. There are definitely stories I'd love to see told in animation about characters or groups of characters. I wouldn't even object to seeing people like Liu Kang and Kung Lao, the Shaolin Monks and Sonya and Johnny Cage doing things. It just would be cool to see them do something other than just be in the tournament, which yes, I know is Mortal Kombat, but Mortal Kombat kind of left the tournament thing behind in its storyline a while ago. So maybe they are saving certain characters for other things, and maybe they're not doing a complete rehash of what's come before. But I find it odd that Quan Chi has been added there, but not all of the other characters are there. And, and yes, I know there's dozens upon dozens of characters, so trying to add them all and give them any kind of meaningful storyline would be an absolute mess. That would be like the Street Fighter movie with Van Damme levels of mess. So if this film allows them to go off and do more stuff, then I will be over the moon. And... I'm gonna end this one here guys. I hope you're excited for it as well. I'm excited for it. Didn't really see anything in this trailer that warranted that five second long this film is rated R moment. There was no blood or gore in the trailer so I'm hoping that there isn't gonna be a red band trailer appearing in a moment and then that'll have made this video a bit of a waste of time but either way I don't know when this comes out. I don't think it's said. Now I'm curious. Nah, so it just says Spring 2020, so we're nowhere near in any danger of this coming out uh, and surprising us anytime soon. But I will be excited to see more. Maybe there'll be another trailer that shows off a bit more of the story rather than just a general trailer. And maybe it'll show a bit more of the R-ratedness of a Mortal Kombat project. Either way, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, thumbs up, subscribe if you're new around here. Please drop comments down below. It is my favorite part of uploading a YouTube video is reading everybody else's thoughts on what's going on in the world at the moment, especially, you know, if it relates to this video I've actually uploaded. But either way, that's going to be it for now, guys. My name is Psycho Gold, and I will see you in my next video. Gold out.